assalamu alaikum students today we'll start with a new topic that is history of novel before we start with it let me tell you last year we all have done with the drama section history of drama and certain way certain dramas were done by us this year we have history of novel let's begin with history of novel for that first we need to understand what is exactly a novel students in the 18th century in the 18th century in english literature two new genres were introduced have a look here the periodical essay and the novel the periodical essay now essay is something it's not a new word for you all you all have been have been writing essays in your school days so periodical essays and novel it so happened that in the 18th century people liked reading intellectual things something that was based on reality so people started appreciating novel what is exactly a novel now i want one of you to read this meaning of novel i'll do the reading then one of you will read it out a novel is a long narrative fiction which describes human experience in a prose form see students in first statement itself three different points it is a long narrative fiction it describes human experience and in what form it describes in a prose form what is this word novel actually why a particular piece of writing is called a novel have a look novel is actually taken from the italian word novella which means something new means when you pick up a book and it's called a novel you are expecting i am going to read something new today i am going to read something new today moving further A novel narrates a story describing it with more details of time, place, nature, people and their minds, their gestures, their activities. Last point, novel makes life easier to understand compared to drama and poetry. Students this meaning of novel it's into three parts. First thing is that it's a long narrative fiction which describes human experience. and it's uh, taken from the italian word novella which means new it's actually a kind of a story which comprises of all details like time place nature people and their minds and fourth point is it's easier to understand life through novel than rather than drama and poetry students so all these four points comprised together stands for meaning of novel you also need to learn this for yourself as it may be asked as a two marks answer in the exam moving further we have you need to know no when exactly this novel came into existence who were the first who was the first novelist the first era of novelist in the world the novel has history about 2000 years ago when we talk about the earliest thread of this genre novel you will find virgil's eclogues mallory's morte di arthur or now this last name is very well known you must have definitely heard it somewhere geoffrey chaucer's the canterbury tales the canterbury tales exactly the reason why novels became famous in the 18th century have a look here we'll come back to the first point mentioned up in the 18th century the appearance of newspapers and magazines attracted a number large number of readers you know people like reading what come on i need the answers in the chat box i need the answers from you all the same what is seen on the screen yes yes very good people like reading newspapers they like reading magazines which people like reading 
this kind of collection middle class people middle class people and the upper class you know they were interested in tragedies and romantic collection romances and all but these romances were actually very far from reality it did not talk about the everyday problems of a common man so middle class people didn't like it they liked reading newspapers and magazines but they didn't like reading the collection of romances and tragedies but then when novel was introduced novel was introduced it was appreciated and liked by the middle class person why we'll see that before going to the reason let's see which year it was introduced novel as a literary form was introduced in england in after 1740 england after 1740 see you have a look here this point tells us why the middle class people who were not fond of reading romances and tragedies they liked reading novels because come on what's the answer here you will find in the first point yes very good i'm getting the answer because the realistic picture of everyday life and problems of common people were depicted in the novels the realistic picture of everyday life and problems of common people and this appealed the newly educated class it was liked appreciated by the educated upper middle class people it was considered as respectable reading material thus so novel as a form was designed for both to voice the aspirations of middle class and to meet their longings now novel consists comprised or covered what have a look here the novel started encompassing the social political and cultural happenings and scientific progress come on look at the same statement and tell me again you can repeat the words right in the chat box which are the four major areas that was covered in the novel yes exactly social hmm political cultural happenings and scientific progress good students very good let's move further mm if novels were written definitely we need to know who are the major novelist the beginners the pilgrim's progress by john bunyan written in 1678 oronoko by afra ben in 1688 these were the initiating novels in english the beginners Oh, then followed by some famous names like Daniel Defoe's Robinson Crusoe, Jonathan Swift's Gulliver's Travels, Samuel Richardson's Pamela. Some of the major beginning novelists and the novels written by them. Then you have many, many, many of them, such as E. M. Foster, James Joyce, George Orwell. Students, you need to read them. you know when you go to the library you will find ample of books in fact nowadays you have e library where you will get good collection of books written by these novelists of the 20th century start reading books for yourself it creates interest it gives you good experiences you learn many new things mm and some of the major immigrant novelist that is belonging to some other country but is not grown up at some other place for example if i go and i settle in us and i start writing there so i'm an immigrant novelist immigrant writer why because basically i'm from india but i'm settled in us and i'm my work is known there my publisher publication is done there of the books so but basically i'm from india so i'll be called an immigrant writer in us you are from some other country basically but you settle in some other place salman rushdi vs naifal kazao isagura ishagura all these were see salman rushdi was from india vs naifal from trinidad and kuzo isagura from japan now if males were writing females were also there who are good novelist let's see who are some of the major women novelist 
Now I should get the answer from you all. Yes, as you can see on the screen, contribution of women novelist. Yes, very good. Evelina by Frances Burney. Gothic novels. Yes, yes. I'm getting the answers in chat box. Very good. Anne Redcliffe. Hmm, Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. Then you have Jane Austen, Bronte Sisters, Emily and Charlotte Bronte, Virginia Woolf, Mary Anne's, Agatha Christie. We'll learn about these women novelists in detail when we'll go further. For now, we just need to know the names of the major women novelists. So students, if we, get a, if we take a recapitulation of what we have done till now, come on, we started from where? Again, just have a look quickly. First thing, what happened in the 18th century? Two new things introduced in English literature, periodical essay and novel. Why people started taking interest in novels? Because the people, the middle class people, they liked reading material that was in, based on intelligence, intellectual piece of writing. Then what exactly was... What exactly is a novel, meaning of novel, a definition of novel? We read it out here. It's a long narrative. It describes human experience in prose form. The story consists of place, time, nature, people and all. And it's easier to understand novel life through novel. Then exactly history of novel. When novel started basically, who are the beginner, beginning writers? Why it was liked by people in the 18th century? Why it was liked by middle class people in the 18th century when it originated in England who were the major beginning no, beginners the novelist and the major famous novels written by them who were, who were some of the immigrant novelist who is an immigrant novelist yes very good and the contribution of Women, women novelist. Very good. We'll further, we'll continue in the next class. What you have to do is, you have to get back to your textbook and read this, whatever I have covered here. You have to read this. And the next class we'll be dealing with, uh, what we'll be dealing with? Indian novelist. elements of novel and types 